Hi guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create interactive icons for navigation in Power BI. So what I mean here is when I hover over, I have two icons over here, one for summary and one for sales. When I hover over this icon here, the color changes here to indicate that you are going to select that particular icon. So in this case, we are changing the color of the icon. And there's another scenario here where we are uh, changing the uh, glow of the icon. So as you can see here, when I hover over this, it's the icon here is glowing. So let's learn how to do this. So let's get started with this tutorial. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to PowerPoint here and I have imported the image of the background that I have used here in this particular dashboard. Uh, and then I'm going to go to the insert tab and click on icons over here. PowerPoint has some icons inbuilt here which you can choose from. So I'm going to select two icons from here. One is I need one for the sales amount. I'm going to select this here which represents sales uh, or the values, right? And then I'm going to look for another one which is uh, relevant for my summary tab. Uh, so I'm going to go select this one here for my summary tab and then I'm going to click on insert. So once this is inserted over here, let me quickly as, as, align them here. So by default, they appear black here and the black does not really go with the background color that I have here for my dashboard. So I'm going to quickly go here to graphic format, graphic fill and change this to white so that it's quite visible. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click here on this particular image, save as picture and then go to PNG here and then save this as summary. I'm going to click on save and replace. Oops, this was uh, sales here. So I'm going to select sales icon here, go to save, replace. And then this is my summary. I'm going to save as picture, then go to PNG here, summary, save and then replace it, okay? So once you have saved these images, let's go back to BI now and click on insert and go to buttons here and select blank button. So once this is selected, just bring the, uh, align the button wherever you would want to and resize the button here. And let's go to the format button over here, turn off icon, turn off outline and turn on fill option. Under fill here, there is an option where you can add an image. So let's click on add image and then select the uh, summary icon that we just created. And let's go to fill here and change the color of this fill exactly what is there in this particular background. So I'm going to select this one here so that the uh, background becomes visible. Okay, so I now have my image here and then I can simply reduce the transparency here all the way back to zero. Okay, so now this is my summary tab. So I'm here on my summary tab and this is my sales tab. So I'm going to quickly copy this and create a duplicate of this. Go back to fill, remove the image that we added here and add the other image which is sales. Okay, so once you have added this, we now have two icons over here. The, what we need to now change is we need, so we, we are on the summary tab. So we need to work on the uh, sales icon over here. So we'll select the sales icon, go back to fill. And under default state, I'm going to increase the transparency all the way up to 50% so that this is appearing lighter. And then from this drop down here, select on hover and then reduce the transparency all the way back to zero. Okay. So now let us see what's happening. So when I hover over this icon, you will see that creating that glow kind of an effect, right? So likewise, uh, what you can do is you can select these two icons here, copy them and go to sales tab and paste them over here. and just do the opposite of what you did in the sales tab. I'm going to go state here is going to be zero and then on hover also it's going to be zero. But here on my, of my summary tab, I need to make changes here. On hover, it is going to go to 0% and on default state, it is going to go back to 50%. So now on the summary tab, I'm going to, when I hover over this, sorry, this is not working. Let me go back here on hover, reduce the transparency to zero, okay? So now when I hover over this, you will see that it is now changing the, uh, or it's creating that glow kind of an effect. Let us move to the next step where we learn how to change the color of the icon. So let's go back to our PPT or PowerPoint and then um, on select the image here, which you want to change, let's go to graphic format and under graphic fill, you have to, you can change the color over here. So I'm gonna select this gold color over here Likewise for this one as well, I'm going to select this gold and then right click, save as picture, go to 
png select png and then this is my sales icon and then i'm gonna say hover sales icon hover i'm gonna save this and then this is my summary icon i'm gonna select png and then go to summary summary uh, hover i'm just gonna rename this to summary hover okay save this let's go back to bi now and i'm on the sales uh, page over here so this is my sales uh, uh, icon over here so i'm going to go to fill here and select on hover and then I'll, i'm going to remove this image click on add image and select the new image that we just created so this is my sales tab so i'm going to select the summary or the sales icon over here so when i hover now over here the color changes okay likewise i can go here and uh, change the color of on hover and remove the summary add a new image uh, select the summary image that we have and when i hover over this what's happening let's go back here uh, fill on hover that image is not added so i'm going to select sales or uh, the summary icon hover click on open so once this is added now when i hover over this you will see that the color is now changing that's it guys in this particular tutorial i hope this video has helped you you've learned something new today Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.